Happy Friday, Centennial. I'm Gus McMurray. And I'm Devon Harrison. Thanks for joining us today. It's Football Friday, and tonight's the Battle of Franklin. Join us tonight at 7 in the section for a toga out. We went out to see how the team is gearing up for tonight. All right, I'm here with Keegan, Cody. And Keegan and, and Cody, how do y'all feel about the team, you know, chances on Friday night's game? I feel confident. I feel like we're ready to go. We, we prepared well, and this Battle of Franklin, man, you got to bring the energy. Very confident going into the game. So how do y'all feel about playing the Battle of Franklin? What does that mean to y'all? It means a lot to me. I used to come and watch the games as a kid, and it was very big, and get a chance to play in it, it's real big now. Uh, it means a lot. we got to show that we're the best team in Franklin. All right, 7 p.m., Battle of Franklin. Be there early. Wide out. Go Cougs. All right, I'm here with Graham Bendorf. And Graham, how do you feel about the team chances going to Friday night's game? I think we got a really good chance. We've been working hard all week. You know, we're going to go to Franklin, or, I mean, here, take care of business. So what does the Battle of Franklin mean to you? I mean, it means a lot to me. I mean, we, our, our seniors, they haven't won in four years. I mean, I've never, I've never seen us beat Franklin, so it means so much for us to come out with the W. All right, you'll be there at 7 o'clock. Go Cougs. I'm here with Camden Brock. So uh, how do you feel going into Friday night? No, I feel pretty good. Uh, no, we're going to come out with the dub. I mean, we already know we're just like that. So. Yeah, uh, being a senior, uh, how does the Battle of Franklin feel? Like, what does that mean to you? You know, it means a lot. I played in it last three years, and since I've been here, we haven't beat Franklin. So I feel like this is the year that we're going to do it. Come off Friday and watch us get the dub. I'm here with Zane Addis, a.k.a. Raheem. So, Raheem, how do you feel about the game on Friday? I'm feeling good. I feel like we're going to get a dub and do our thing. So what does the Battle of Franklin mean to you? It means um, get the respect of your hometown. Who owns the place? All right, be there at 7 o'clock. Go Cougs. All right, guys, you already know what time it is. Battle of Franklin, big week, biggest game of the year. Are you kidding me? It's finally here. I'm so excited. We know we got a couple keys to the game. You know, we got the O-line. You know, the O-line going to perform well. Graham, Gus, I mean, Gray. You know, you got Taco. You got Donnie, Paul. I mean, these guys are excellent. Tanner backing up Josh this week was unfortunately hurt. We know he's a big-time player. He'll step up in this spot. Defense good with Big Daddy Scurs, a.k.a. Jeremiah. You got the... Keegan, you know, you got Mike in the crew. You got the you got Braden Anderson, dude's an absolute legend. He does the things that don't show up in the stat sheet, you know. But, you know, there's something important we're going to need tonight in this big game. We're going to need you guys, the students, the parents, cheerleaders, dancers, everybody involved in the student body. This is the biggest game of the year. I need all y'all there tonight. You know our motto, no excuses. Be there or be square. Be there, 7 o'clock, Battle of Franklin. Go Cougs. All right, so I'm here with? Keytray. Johan. Ayana. And these are our session leaders. So y'all tell us about the game coming up this Friday. Um, so, you know, it's a big game. It's Battle of Franklin this Friday. Y'all better be there. It's a toga out slash white out, so you can wear white if you don't want to wear a toga. But all I'm doing with the toga is just having this drape thing across my body. It's really simple, so, yeah. Y'all got anything else? Um, we need everyone to show up so it'll be deep in the stands, no empty spaces, so we can watch Franklin get shut out. Yep, it's a home game. You know, kickoff always starts at 7. And um, can y'all please pick up y'all trash when y'all leave, like just one? Because I'll be, me, the section leaders be staying like 30 minutes after the game just to clean that up. So that'll be helpful. Anything else, Keytray? You um, might want to get there like really early to get your seats. And because me and Johan have some tricks up our sleeve. Hey, just saying. Be there. So, I'm telling y'all, y'all might want to come watch this game. Also, it's going to be packed. So, I'm trying to tell y'all, get here early to get y'all seats because this is a Franklin versus Centennial game. Yeah. Let's go. All right, be there. 7 o'clock, Franklin game. Go Cubs. The Battle of Franklin is the biggest game of the year. We went out to get your thoughts on the game. Hello, it's Clay again, looking dapper. I'm looking for interviews. What are we looking at? What are our interviews going to be like? Football, Franklin game. Let's go. What are you doing this Friday? Franklin High School, football game here. What are you doing this Friday? Sleeping. You're not going to the football game? Football game, football game. What do you think about the game? Are you going? 
Uh, yes, I'm going to the game. So what are you doing this Friday? Um, I'm going to the Battle of the Franklin. What are you doing this Friday? This Friday is uh, I'm be doing the scoreboard for the football game. Franklin. You gonna be there? Football, yeah. probably. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> what are you doing this Friday? Going to the game. Why? For school spirit. What are you doing this Friday? Hey, Jacob. What are you doing Friday? Nice. Nice. <laughs> you there. What are you doing this Friday? I'm, pl I'm playing in a game. Y'all should come. Oh, I'll be there. Trust me, everyone else should be there. That's the main thing. This Friday. Uh, going to the game. Why? Because it's the Battle of Franklin. Is it on? Is it on? Hey, guys. Um, what are you doing this Friday? Going to the game. Going to the football game. Be playing in the football game. My man. What do you guys think the score is going to be? 30-0. 43-7. A lot to a little. So what do you think the score is going to be? Um, 30-7. What do you think the score will be? 50-0. My man, I was thinking the same thing. So, uh, you going to the game this Friday? Sure. All right. So what do you think the score will be? Uh, what was that? I want to make sure this is this is 31 uh, 17 Centennial. Right. Hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> I got your friend. I got your friend. You got me. So, you guys think you're going? Anything to say? What are you going to be doing Friday? I'm going to be at the game. Game. I'll be at the game. I will too. Now here's Madison with some of this week's other's new headline. Thanks guys. If you didn't get your Battle of Franklin t-shirt, you can pick one up today in room 214 for $15. Get one before they run out. The Senior ACT will be held at CHS this Tuesday, October 5th. Posters will be up in the hallways telling you where to go. You are encouraged to attend the ACT boot camp Monday after school in the library. Seniors are not dismissed from school after the ACT. Don't forget, Monday is the deadline to pay your AP exam fees. And makeups for senior portraits will be October 19th. Some of the most colorful people at Centennial will be out on the field tonight. We got a chance to talk to the Color Guard after their competition last week. Hi, I'm Anna Kuisan, and I'd like to tell you about Color Guard. So this Saturday, we went to Columbia for our first competition, and Color Guard, the whole band, and percussion won overall in 2A silver category. We had a lot of fun, and although there are some hiccups, I'm glad to say that we were the best we could be. Sophia, Kaylin, Angela, Anna, so proud of you ladies. Keep up the good work, and let's continue to kick butt at competitions. Hey, I'm here today with... Lupita Valadez. Angela Pazescobar. And you guys had an announcement about the International Festival. Um, yes, yeah, so we're here to tell you guys that the International Festival is back. Um, it's a tradition Centennial has had for, I think, this is our ninth year doing it. Um, basically, we're just celebrating everybody's cultures and, you know, where everybody came from, everybody's different um, ethnicities, cultures, and everything. Um, we need a lot more participation from other cultures, so if anybody has any ideas or wants to join in on anything, um, that would be amazing. You can contact us in room 254 or you can contact us on the um, Instagram, which is the Latino Achiever CHS. You can wear like different outfits or anything like that, like it doesn't have to be, you know, a performance. And yeah, so just contact us, reach out, we need more cultures and you know, we want to celebrate the diversity that is Centennial. Okay, lo que dijo ella, el octubre 29, Día Internacional, vamos a tener una cultura Va a haber una cultura festiva para todos los latinos de, pues, de que puedes venir disfrazada como tu quinceañera, tus lugares donde eres y contarnos, no contar muchas historias sobre eso, pero enseñarnos unas cosas. Y puedes agarrar la bandera, puedes tener dos parejas o uno y agarrarlo y da una, una, una vuelta y para que todos sepamos de dónde vienes y para que... Nos expliques. En el Internacional, 
Día Internacional va a ser el octubre, como dije, el octubre 29. O si tienes ideas o quieres más información, puedes, decir, puedes contactarnos en Instagram por CHS Latino Achievers y o oh, puedes hablar con la señora Santoyo en la clase 254 para tener más información sobre todo esto. Thank you guys. Finally, Centennial Gives Back is holding a car wash tomorrow from 10 to 2 p.m. in the parking lot. It's only $5 and it can help raise money for the school. All right, that's all for your announcement. Back to you guys. Thanks, Madison. Tickets are on sale for the fall play. Letters of Sala. We caught up with some theater students to see what we can expect. Write to us. Write to us. Write to us. Write to us. If you do not write, everything is lost. Write, write to us. So we are doing Letters to Sala, and this show is about a girl who was in the World War II camps, and it's about her. She received letters, and she wrote letters to family members and friends throughout her years in the camps, and then years later, her daughter is given the letters and her daughter goes through the letters and is discovering them and wanting to share them with the world. Um, so as that is going on you also get to see the trueness of what was happening in the letters and as the letters are being given to Sala throughout the camps. I play Anne, so I am Sala's daughter in 2005, so I'm a more modern day character. Anne is very, she's a businesswoman and she is, she loves the facts and she loves the information and she likes to share what she has learned. Um, sometimes she doesn't exactly think about the emotions of other people when she says things, so sometimes she'll get in arguments. But she does care, when, she is, when she's devoted to something, she cares for it very, very much, and she will uh, make sure it goes all the way through. I think they will like that they will learn something from the show. They'll get to hear and see what happened in the camps and they'll be able to realize and I don't know how much information they've already known about what happened but this will add on for them. So actually all of the letters we all hand wrote letters and stuff like that so all of the letters are actually written and the set is so amazing because it will grow and it will build as the show goes on um, and then you also have like your two houses that reflect of the modern family and the old family which is really really cool and it just the whole look of it is really really amazing. So you should come see this show because we've worked very 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 hard on it and these this show has really pushed us out of our like little comfort limit. We've had to try new things and these are very these are real characters so you have real things to pull from it's not like an imaginary character so you have to like you, you can't get it wrong. Um, but it's a very good show. You'll learn a lot. You'll also understand a lot more things. The play is next week, October 7th through the 9th. You can get your tickets here on the link shown on the screen. Now it's time for this week's Drip Check. All right, we're here with today Drip Check, and I'm here with... Jaden. Jay. Noah. All right, we're for the talk about y'all fit. So what you got on, bro? I got an overtime hoodie, some black joggers, and white forces that's still clean. I yes, sir. I know y'all be having dirty forces. Like, y'all know how to take it. Like, y'all purposely be stepping in the mud. Like, come on, do better. All right, what you got? And I got on a V long hoodie, some nice little rip jeans, whatever. Got on my custom forces. Boom, a backpack. To be honest, I don't even know why they brought me out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm basic white kid, you know what I'm saying? Just black, white tee, uh, same jeans. Yeah, you feel the vibe. That's it. All right, y'all going to the game Friday? Anybody going to the game? All right, what you going with? You going white out? All right, bet, bet, bet. Appreciate it. All right, y'all, we're here with... Brody Moore. Explain your fit. We got the, the white and the blue all the way down, some black short shorts in the middle. That's about it. Battle Franklin shirt. Are you going to the game? You know it. Are you going to dress out? I'm going to paint myself white, head to toe. Well, that's what's up. Proud of you, my dog. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So what you win? Well, I got the Jordan 1 low spades on. Got me a little fitted. Long sleeve, got the Julio jersey on, you feel me? You a Titans fan? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see you, bro. All right, you going to the game Friday? Oh, yeah. You going to do the whiteout? You, you nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the game. Oh, you in the game. You play? No, I, I don't play. Oh. I don't get, I don't, I don't get to play time. Oh, well. All right, y'all, we're here with Hadley. Explain your outfit. Well, I just wanted to be comfortable today. You know, it's Tuesday, and it's nice and windy outside, so I wanted to wear some short sleeve, but also some pants so I can be comfy. Are you also going to the game this Friday? I am. I'm a cheerleader. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, have fun. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, of 
Hi, I'm Jacob Moore. I'm gonna figure out what these two are listening to. What are you listening to? Um, I'm listening to Good Little Day by A. Moore. Now, what's your name? Uh, Nisha. What's your name? Cameron. What are you listening to? On My Side by Young Boy. New album. It's great. My name is Jesse Brooks, and I'm listening to 602 Cash. One of my friends that, that does music okay. on SoundCloud. I'm Jacob Moore. I'm here with 602 Cash. Uh, what are you listening to? I'm listening to Hurricane, Donda, Kanye Wiz, Smacks. Nice. Uh, uh, 602 Cash, uh, shout it out. Oh, uh, yeah. SoundCloud, 602 Cash. Go listen to it. I got a Franklin diss on the way, too. So, yeah. You're dissing the county of Franklin? No, uh, Franklin High School. They tried to talk oh, okay, got it. Tried to talk smack. You know I come back always. You know who Hannibal Burris is? Yep. You, know, you kind of look like him. <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal Burris. <laughs> I know. I heard that so many times. Wait, give us a line from the Franklin desk. I'll give you. Uh, okay. If you rep a Kruger Nation, put your right hand up. And I'm not trying to talk smack, but Franklin, really, but hey, that's all I got right now. That's all I got. But I got more on the way, though. All right, we thank you. Oh yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> What have you been listening to? Um, Lil Quez. Q E Z? Q U E Z E. Where can you find his music? Uh, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube. Uh, he he makes a lot of music with Gans. You know, he he's a good he's a good artist. With what? Gans. What's Gans? That's another artist. <laughs> That's Gans. No, it's Gans. Yeah, it is Gans. And, uh, I'm listening. Where can you find Gans music? Uh, you can also, the same. Um, what's your name? Reagan. What are you listening to? What? Music. I'm not listening to anything. I don't have my own. Okay. What would you be listening to? Um, I don't know. Industry Baby. It's a good song. Industry Baby? Oh, that's, uh, that's that one song by that guy that came out recently. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you like it? I mean, it's a good song. Yeah. Yeah. What are you listening to? Uh, my name's Lane, by the way. Lame? Uh, yeah, like like the road. L A M E? No, L A N E, not lame. Lame? I mean, yeah, you can get it confused, but uh, you know, like my. Well, I mean, it just seems like lame is such a better name for you. I'm blue, da boo dee boo da, da boo dee da boo da, da boo dee boo da. I'm blue, da boo dee da boo da. I'm here with Coach Glover. And today we're here to ask him some football trivia. So the first question is, who holds the record for the world's longest field goal in the NFL? Uh, Tucker does right now. He hit uh, 66 yarder last weekend. That is correct. Number two, who threw the most touchdowns in a season? Peyton Manning. Uh, Peyton Manning. How many touchdowns did he throw? 55. That is correct. Which team has the most Super Bowls in NFL history? Patriots. Which team has the most Super Bowl wins? The most Super Bowl wins team-wise would be the Pittsburgh Steelers. And there's another team. Patriots. That is correct. Uh, which team went undefeated and won the Super Bowl in 1972? 72, that would be the Miami Dolphins in the head, and with uh, Larry Zonka, Jim Kick, and Paul Warfield on that team. Robert on that team. I don't know anything past the 2000s. Uh, just hit me with it. And for bonus points, what was the score of that game? The score was 21 to 7. That is correct. Who had the worst record in the 2016-2017 NFL season? I don't know, but in honor of Coach Boffman, I'm going to say the Detroit Lions. That is incorrect. It was the Cleveland Browns going 0-16. Okay. Hey, thank you. If you're from Cleveland, I'm sorry. Who owns the XFL? I have no clue. Neither do I. <laughs> it's The Rock! If you smell what The Rock is cooking. That's all our time for now. Go be there, 7 o'clock, Battle Franklin. And more importantly, and never all, go Cooks.